Hello everyone. Um, my name is Penna Nashihanga. Um, I'm a mining engineer here at Ochikoto Gold Mine. Um, I'm one of the newest members here. I've been here for officially one month now. Um, and uh, what I do for this operation, I, I do mine planning and scheduling, um, which is basically we, we plan the mining operational activities that are going to take place in the two open pits. Um, now here at Oshikota Gold Mine, we've got, we've got two open pits. We've got the Oshikota Gold Mine here on our right. Um, this, is, this was the first cut we, we, we made when, we, when the company um, started the mining this, uh, this deposit. Um, and right here in front of us, we've got the Wolf Shag open pit. Um, now what you can see directly here in front of us, this is the... You've got the, um, the Wolf Shag 2 extension. Uh, and then right here in front of us below here, this is uh, extension number three that we're busy doing right now. Um, so basically what happens is you start with a, a small open cut in the middle, you take that down because you want to get to your to your deposit a lot quicker. And then once you start making that money, and then you use that money to start extending the pit. And then you, you sort of increase the, the lifespan of your operation. All right. So... What you seeing down down there in the Wolf Shack too? That's one of our that's one of our, our geology rigs. So what they're doing? They're drilling about you know 20 meter, 20 24 meter deep holes, and they collect samples, which we send to the lab, and they analyze that for for gold content. We get that our geologists do great control modeling, and then we know exactly how much gold to expect for each ton that we mine. And we call that grade control drilling. So that'll be followed by production drilling, which is basically you drill large diameter holes and we charge them up with explosives and then we blast and then we come in mine afterwards. All right. What, what are those silver thingies down there? The silver. Okay, that's a, that's a drill block that we've drilled. So what we, they're, actually, they're actually white plastic bags. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a plug just to keep from debris from falling into the holes. All right, so that, that's, that's a drill block that's ready, that, that, that's been drilled, and it's ready for, for charging with explosives. And you want to do these, all these activities need to be coordinated, so it needs to work like a well-oiled machine. All right, so that's a drill block that's been drilled. This bulldozer and this excavator, they're cleaning the next drill block for drilling. So they're scraping all the loose debris off the surface, and then after that, we're going to call our survey team which is going to come and peg the, the whole positions where to drill. And then we're going to call our drills. There's a drill machine right over there in the far end, if you can see that. With a mast up, like that upright. That's a drilling machine, right? So then those rigs are going to come over here, and then we'll drill 10 meter holes. So every cut that we make, it's a, we, we mine in 10 meter cuts. We call them benches, all right? So it all starts, you strip off the waste, strip off the waste and then you get to your body all right so that's what's happening right now um, we mine with a mix of um, excavators backhoe excavators which they mine in a backward motion um, and we also use um, front shovels those are basically it's, 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 it's almost like an excavator but it mines in a forward motion you'll see it you'll see it when we, when we, when we go to check out the other, the other pit all right um, that excavator, there's a white excavator right there on, on the far right. Yeah, that's a backhoe excavator. So what that machine is doing, it's mining the waste now. It's, it's doing bulk waste stripping. So we, we're removing the waste to expose the gold containing blocks. All right. So once it strips off the waste, we'll, we'll, we'll bring our grade control rigs. They'll come and do the grade control drilling. Just for us to, 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 to ascertain and quantify the gold amount, the gold content that we can expect if we mine this. And then we bring the production drill rigs, they come and drill, we blast, we mine. And we take it to the stockpiles which are right here behind us in the, in the, in the back end there. Yeah, those are the, those are the stockpiles. Uh, it's called the wrong bed, run of mine. So all this material 
with uh, all materials and put the super high grade on the one side and high grade on the other side. So here we'll be standing right in front of us with the crusher, that's a dumping pocket. So we uh, dump the material in there, the ore in there. The whole purpose of the uh, primary crusher is, is called the uh, rotary crusher. This is to reduce the size of the material that we're handling. Yeah, uh, the biggest material or rock that we receive here is about uh, a, a meter. So we want to crush it down and reduce the size to 100% uh, passing uh, 150. 150. So 80% of the particles that are being discharged from uh, the crash is about uh, 150 millimeters going to go from there. Um, that's a complete dog feeding our um, stockpile. So we have a stockpile system that just makes sure if we have any breakdowns or maintenance happening here on the side of the crusher, here in the, um, the plant we are not, uh, not affected. So that uh, guarantees supply of uh, material for two days. Okay. Yeah. Two days is about uh, uh, 20,000 tons sure. yeah, capacity. Yeah. So we run it off from there, we run it into a sector, one of the dumps, the two blue drums, the one on the far side. It's called the semi autogenous dump, um, so semi autogenous uh, mill. Um, the whole purpose of this area from the crusher to the milling uh, section is just to reduce the size of the material that we are handling um, to free up the locked gold within the, the ore. So when we free it up, uh, we reduce the size and then we do what it's called um, um, gravity concentration through the section that is right here on your, on your, on your right. But you have uh, the, the crane. That section we call it gravity because that area we're using um, differences in, in the density of the particles. A particle with gold is more denser than a particle without gold. Oh. So we use uh, we manipulate the, the differences in density to recover the gold. So when you uh, we use um, equipment called Nelsons that then at speeds that are very high such that high density particles move on the outside. We set the forces and uh, uh, the light particles are discharged from the Nelsons. So we concentrate our gold outside and then we bleach it with the uh, cyanide. Um, dissolution of gold is similar to dissolution of sugar in water. Um, so gold, gold can, can dissolve as well. When you put gold particles in cyanide and then dissolve and then become a um, solution. Okay. Yeah. So that the solution you pump into the gold room where you do electro winning, which is a system almost similar to what happens in your um, car batteries, where you're running um, you're running current through a solution, and then you have deposition of uh, um, electrons. Um, that's one section of it. Uh, most of our gold, 70% of gold, we recover it through uh, gravity, um, and the gold that we cover there is called the uh, gravity recovery gold. Uh, 30 percent we recover it through uh, normal leaching processes through um, the, the tanks the leach tanks where we add cyanide and then uh, we add um, lime as well to control the pH wherever you're dosing um, cyanide um, you have to control the pH between 9.5 and the pH of 10.5 so wherever we are dosing cyanide we have to dose lime as well so that's what happens uh, the leaching area um, Again, the whole principle is just to put the, the gold in, in solution form. You want to separate it from the other gang uh, material that comes with the ore. Um, from leach, the big tanks that are right in front of us, is, that's what we call the leach tanks. Um, right in front of them, there are smaller tanks of the similar design, but it's uh, quite smaller in size. Uh, those are uh, uh, CIP tanks. Okay. CIP tanks, um, now since your gold is in solution form, you now want to remove it from um, the solution it's being carried in. So you use what you call activated carbon. Activated carbon um, is the uh, same. It's just selectively collecting your gold from the solution. It's like taking a magnet and running it over uh, pieces of, of metal um, that is made of iron or other metals that are made of copper and stuff. So the, the, the magnet only picks up uh, very magnetic material, which is uh, your, your, your iron particles. Yeah. In our case here, yeah, our carbon is just picking up our gold from the solution. Okay. And then we, we separate that uh, carbon from the solution and we take it through what you call um, um, illusion. Illusion, illusion is, is basically just stripping now the carbon. The carbon is a coarse carbon 
this is uh, made of um, charcoal. Uh, so you, you, you separate that uh, carbon and then in illusion you strip the gold from the carbon. Now you reverse what happens in CIP, um, carbon in pulp. So now you remove the gold from your uh, carbon in solution again and then you send it to uh, the gold room to electro winning and then you plate it onto um, cathodes in the gold room and then you take it to the furnace and then you, you get uh, smelt it. Okay. And then you have your gold bar. Where's the furnace? Uh, the furnaces are in the gold room. Okay. Yeah. So the gold room is right on the other side, just in between there. So in the nutshell, basically that's what what uh, we do here. We do what we do, but, uh, That's how we recover our gold. Our impurities from our system, as you see, most of uh, the material that we treat here, yeah. there's only about uh, one. For every ton we treat, we only get uh, 1.5 grams of uh, gold. So the rest of it, we send it over to our um, tailing storage facility, TSR, right on the very, very far end, that uh, pen, on the very far, that right pen there. Uh -huh. That's what we call TSR, uh, tailing storage uh, facility. So if all our residues coming from here, we send it over the outside and, and store it there. It's all good for the environment, so that's why we keep it possible now.